Welcome back to another Video Path Video Editor Tutorial 2020 with easy to follow step by step instruction. Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create a simple zoom effect in your video and I'm going to be using this clip that you see that hey I've already everyone, loaded I'm going onto to show the you timeline. simple and easy step by step instructions to grow pear seeds. And when I talk about pear seeds, I want to zoom in on the little seedlings that have grown from the fruit you buy at the store. And when I talk about the fruit you buy at the store, I want to zoom in on the pears. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to make two points, the beginning and end points of where we want to create our zoom. And you can use the audio track visuals down here to figure out exact to help you uh, decide where and when you want to start and stop and I believe this is right around where I want to start to grow pear seeds okay right where it says to grow pear seeds so I'm going to move it right back here I'm going to use my red timeline cursor I'm going to position my time red timeline cursor at the beginning of where I want to zoom now if you hover over it, you get these three options, split all tracks and these two brackets. Do not use the brackets. We are going to choose split all tracks and you have created, it's basically just a marker. There's our first marker. Now we're going to go to the end. To grow pear seeds. And when I say seeds, when I stop saying seeds, that's basically the end of the section that I want to zoom in. So once again, I'm going to over my mouse over the red timeline cursor I am going to choose split all tracks and now I've created a beginning and end point click one time in between to activate this section that you want to work with okay this little section that I want to zoom in is now activated from the top menu I am going to choose video effects I'm going to click on video effects and I am going to choose zoom now, from the effects zoom dialog box down here, I think one thing that you must check is to make sure that the, the restraint, which is really the aspect ratio, matches the aspect ratio of your video. Now, since this is going to be a YouTube video, YouTube videos are 16 by 9, so I am going to make the restraint, in other words, the size of the zoom box. 16 by 9. Now all I need to do is reposition my zoom box and I'm going to put it basically right here because I want to zoom in on the pear seedlings. That's all you need to do. Now I'm going to close the dialog box. You can see it's come up here right and it jumps to the clip preview. Now we're going to change it to the sequence preview to actually see what it looks like. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Let's go back in time a little bit. Instructions to grow pear seeds. From okay, as soon as I say pear seeds, it jumps right in and it shows our seedlings. Let's do it again when I talk about the fruit. From the fruit. Okay, and I want to get it right from the beginning of fruit. Fruit you buy right about here and once again I'm going to hover my mouse over the red timeline cursor I am going to choose split all tracks and I've got my first marker fruit you buy at the store and after I say store I is where I want my second marker red timeline cursor split all tracks and now I have my second zoom section okay and we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to go back up here to video effects zoom I am going to change the restraint from none to 16 by 9 because it matches the aspect ratio of my video and now I am going to zoom in here on those nice delicious pears and remember the smaller the size of your zoom box um, the less resolution you're going to have so I'm not doing it too small because this is not a real high quality video and I'm going to close my dialog box go back to change from clip preview to sequence preview let's go back in time a little bit I'm just moving my red timeline cursor 
and let's take a look at how it looks. Instructions to grow pear seeds from the fruit you buy at the store. Let's Looks pretty good. That's basically exactly what I wanted. And if I did make a mistake, I can always undo. And you will find the undo and redo arrows in the upper left-hand corner of your main menu bar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tick that like button and subscribe for more videos.